TV6 Sports. This is Hoosier Hoop Hysteria. All right, Kevin, Mark and Amanda, thanks. Here we go. One of the state's unbeaten teams starts us off tonight. Bloomington South going down to Columbus East. Fast start for the Panthers. Full court pressure and Noah Jagger with the steal. And the score, a 23-point opening quarter for the Panthers. On the run of the third, Jonathan Collins. The no-look pass to Anthony Leal for the end one. Look at this thing again. Here's your highlight of the night. Over the shoulder, good two, 67-53. Bloomington South 14-0, the first boys team in the state to reach that mark this season. And good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us here tonight, right in the middle of January. It may be the toughest week anywhere in Hoosier High School hoops, the Marion County Boys Basketball Tournament. Not just the challenge of winning four games in five nights, but the likelihood of facing one or more top 10 teams and or state title contenders along the way. We started off with the number one team in the state, Lawrence North, the unbeaten Wildcats. Taking on Ben Davis, LM built an early 10-point lead. Shamar Avance, the drive, the contact, layup in the end one. He had 10 points in the game. Giants trying to stay in it. Jackson Gowdy in the lane. Nice hook shot finish. He had 16. Robert Fry led Ben Davis with 22 points. But the Wildcats are number one for a reason. Several reasons, actually. Tony Perkins on the drive. Leans in, scores. He had 16. The big man had 16 as well. Six foot seven, DJ Hughes. Gets behind the D for the slam. Nice assist from Avance. That lead stretched out past a couple of dozen. Donathan McCauley for three here. And LN's great season continues 73-60 as they go back to the county tourney finals. They're having fun. They're, they're, you know, they're really having fun. Uh, uh, Tony's a great leader. DJ's got energy, and, and Shamar is just hard to guard. And so we got we got three guys out there doing their job, and the other guys are fitting in around them, and it makes a good team. What's the message at the start of the week about trying to trying to get through this? It's, it's nice. Go home and go to bed and sleep, and uh, and eat well. <laughs> We'll see if they do. Here's the trophy they'll play for tomorrow night. Let's get a look at game two tonight. Third-ranked Lawrence Central taking on Pike. Great action early. Pike in the post. Nor Gordon up and in for the bucket. Got an early lead. Devils get one on the defense. Tip it away. J.J. Loudon the loose ball and the easy score. But the Bears could play at a very high level, particularly with all their guys in the lineup now. Nigel Pack coming back. From an injury, pulls up for the three. Dre Davis getting back in it as well on the hop. Three more. That duo led the scoring tonight, and LC moves on to the finals. 70-55, to 55, a huge game at Southport. LC and LN, that one is tomorrow night at 7. Semifinals in Johnson County tonight as well. Greenwood Christians boys are making quite a run. The Cougars went to the regional finals last year in a perfect 11-0 record to start this season. GC and Greenwood open the Johnson semis tonight. Greenwood Christian, white uniforms. Cougars chant McCorkle three in the first half. Just 13 to 12 at halftime. Points were hard to come by. And then on the no call, Rashid Elamikin for the Woodman gets the and one. Two in the foul there. Game went back and forth in the second half. Derek Peterson pops out. Three Cougars back in the league. Greenwood would go back up by one. Spencer Aaron the up and under with the lay-in, but down the stretch, Greenwood Christian gonna get it done. Noah Harris with the late lay-in, a three-point victory when it's all over. Greenwood Christian's first trip to the Johnson County Finals. This is typically not our style of play, um, but Greenwood does a really good job. Uh, each, each possession was valued, so definitely hats off to them. And those moments is fun, and, and, and that's exactly what I tell our guys, man. I would, I would give anything to go back and play in these type of games where it's tight, the fans are into it. It's an awesome atmosphere here. Fun stuff there. Get a look at game two. Here's Center Grove. The Trojans taking on Indian Creek in the nightcap. I see in the red unis, Colby Marker from way out. 23-footer good for the triple. They had an early lead. Trojans keeping in it with some defense, though. Landon Hacker the steal. He'll take it all the way down and lay it in. Nice finish there. Indian Creek back at the other end, getting another nice finish. Marker the assist. Mason Britt this time for the deuce. Center Grove would eventually pull away, though. Hacker for three more. Part of an 11-point win. Center Grove and Greenwood Christian in Saturday's title game. That's down at Franklin Community High School. Delaware County semis tonight, too. Wapahani moves on. 53-40 over Cowan. They'll face the host, Delta. The Eagles beat Yorktown 67-39. That title game also set for tomorrow night. A title game tonight on the girls' side. Championship of the Girls' City Tournament. Heritage Christian facing Cathedral. Five minutes to go. It's a one-point game after this shot. Courtney Fields for the Fighting Irish. They came back from 11 down. HCS able to stay in front, though. Tyranny Brown misses. 
Courtney Lee cleans it up and finishes. Heritage hit their free throws down the stretch, and the Eagles do it again. How about 15 straight city tourney titles? By the way, the girls' state tournament draw is next Sunday.